Okay, this is Notch's uh, emulator for his specification for 1.4, which includes a very interesting instruction called HCF. Really? It's not going to do it this time? There we go. And you can see what happens when you execute HCF right there. Um, HCF, HCF stands for halt and catch fire. He implements this by having random sections of memory overwritten randomly. Uh, meanwhile, all instructions take 10 cycles. Or is it 10 cycles more than they used to? I forget which. But either way, the results are quite funny. Well, that's interesting. It rebooted. Or just sent an instruction to the screen to reset or something. Very odd. Okay, I already showed you the crash. Now to see the other things. The documentation that has been provided. Um, this is Release Candidate 1, which is both the program and the documentation for that. Uh, so far, it's just the TCPU that is in the release candidate, downloadable, whatever. Um, but more should come out sometime, I suppose, right? Anyhow, here's the TCPU specification version 1.4. I am currently working off of 1.7 myself. The funny thing about 1.4 is the HCF command, used sparingly. Then after the specification, we have the specification for the monitor, which is this. And then we have the keyboard, which is this, which I did not notice it has this right here. I did not even see that yet. I'm very happy I just saw that, because I was wondering what numbers I needed to use. And then we have the generic clock. Now, the only problem I'm having so far is I need to figure out how to use interrupts, but other than that, it should be good. I have morning voice. You haven't had enough space invaders yet. Oh yeah, that's right, space invaders. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is updated for the DCPU. Uh, it's working, as you can see. Unfortunately, the keyboard does not work. No, no, none of these buttons do anything. There's nothing over here on the side that says the source code that's like, it does. I'm going to give you a link to programs forked from this because hopefully someone will make the keyboard work and that'll be a forked program from this. So I guess that's the way to say, stay subscribed. This page has nothing to do with, I'm t with what I'm talking about, but Noctis is this really cool old game. Um, if you can read and listen at the same time, I don't think anyone can, but go ahead. What you're seeing on the screen has nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but I just want to say a couple things real fast. 0x10c, the DCPU, the the big news, what's going on with that right now, besides the alternate reality game Notch posted, uh, which was kind of this crazy thing about trying to uh, decode a s signal from a pulsar, and it required a bunch of people to work on it to figure it out and I'm still not sure if they figured it out or not. But anyhow, the big thing he's been doing is he's been posting specifications on the website, um, but he's been hiding them so that you can't just go to the front page of the website and get an update. Uh, the reason he's been doing this is because a lot of the people that are coming to the front page of the website are probably not the nerdy programmer types and don't have any idea what they're talking about. And most of those people go on Reddit and talk to him on Reddit to find out about that kind of thing. So, he's decided to do that. He's posting links to these things on Reddit, and if he doesn't post a link and someone else finds the link on Reddit, they're posting it. So if you're not already using Reddit, uh, go use Reddit and look up uh, slash r slash 0x10c or whatever. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description. There'll be links to everything in the description. As usual, I have morning voice.
Ew. Ew, how can I make sure that never shows up again? Go away. Wait, go. That's... Okay, whatever. Fine. Can do that. Go away. <laughs> 